<laughs> Why, hello there, everybody. How you doing today? It's me, again. Wow, what a wonderful time. What an exciting time to be alive. And just think, you can say, I was there. I was there when Almighty God moved across the, uh, the great United States of America and made our country great again, prosperous again, law and lawful again, and brought righteousness and holy back, holiness back to our country. Because, folks, that's exactly what's going on. See, let me explain to you. You all seem to forget. Those people that are up in, in positions of authority, the only authority that they have is that which we give to them. That goes for anyone in any any position of authority. The only authority that they have over you is the authority that you give to them. The, uh, the authority that, that, they, that you allow them to have over you. They aren't our rulers. They, don't, they are not above us. They are there to supposed to be representing us. And remember now, folks, they've taken an oath to Almighty God. And they said that they're going to uphold that oath. They're going to uphold the laws. So, they're not answerable to me. They're accountable and answerable to Almighty God. And Almighty God doesn't go back on his word. He holds himself accountable. And you know what? He says, Almighty God has deemed. That you know what? I have to hold everyone, everyone, to the very same standard. Because it is the very same standard that I'm holding myself to. So now, folks, what you're seeing today is you're seeing all of these crooks and liars and just fakes and frauds running for cover. They're, they're turning on each other left and right because we, we, you, me, we are saying, you know what? We don't like what you've been doing. So guess what? It's time for you to go. And it, you can either go one of two ways. You can either go willingly or we're going to drag you out. But go, you will. Now, I don't think it's going to come to that. But what's going to happen is uh, all of these people, they're, they're, it's falling apart. It's falling apart on them. They can't, if they could do one of the million things that they, that they claim that they can do, then why don't they just do it? If their goal is to stop us, then stop us. Oh, <clears throat> you can't stop us because you're not in control. Almighty God is. Now, I'm going to encourage you and I'm going to explain to you exactly what's going on with the Word of God. Okay? It's, it's with the Word of God. We go to Joel. Chapter 2, verse 25. This is the prophet Joel. This is Almighty God speaking through the prophet Joel. Joel 2, 25. And I, this is Almighty God speaking, will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Now, what you're seeing, you're seeing that today. You're seeing Almighty God remove these people. You say, wait a minute, Kay, that doesn't sound good. You're saying God sent stuff to destroy stuff? Yes. Because if it's not good fruit, Jesus said every good plant that's not, that does not come from the Father will be uprooted. Pull it up by the roots. So his army is the destruction. But you know what? If, you're, if you are the problem, what Almighty God says is, I will restore to you the years. Almighty God can do anything. He can even restore time. He will restore everything that has been taken from you from those fakes who said that they were representing Almighty God, but only represent themselves. That's what you're seeing in this country today. Now, I'm not relying on man to do it. I'm not relying on, on a political organization to do it. I'm not relying on a law to do it. No, I am relying on Almighty God to do it. Now we go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 19, New Testament. This is Paul speaking to the church 
of Philippi. Philippians 4.19, but my God. Now, why does he say my God? Why didn't he say your God? Because he's making it perfectly clear who he's talking about. He's talking about the God of creation, the God of salvation, the God of restoration. He's talking about the God that he serves. He says, my, but my God shall, it's going to happen, supply, give you all your need. According to his. Who's his? It's Almighty God's riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Now, all includes everything and excludes nothing. Nowhere in there does it say that you're supposed to rely on, on man for any of your needs. Now, what are some of your needs? I don't know. Maybe some of you all are scared right now. I know a lot of you all are scared. Ask God for peace. Ask God for peace. Don't because the canker worms have got the, the, the worms and the locusts are doing their job. They're getting rid of all the fake and all the frauds and all the dead. It's the army of God that's moving. It's Almighty God that's moving. It's not a political movement. It's a spiritual movement. It's a movement of Almighty God. So, folks, if you're a little scared, you're a little nervous, hey, just ask Almighty God. Almighty God, please give me peace. If you need some confidence, say, Almighty God, please give me, give, me, give me some confidence. If you need faith, just say, hey, Almighty God, give me some faith. Because the only thing that you have to worry about are the things that affect you. Or should I say, how you respond to the things that affect you. You have no control over what happens to you. The only thing that you can't control is how you respond to what happens to you. So, folks, be encouraged. This is an exciting time. We're watching all the liars being exposed. And there is no... The, the reason why God's doing it this way is so that no one gets hurt. So that none of us, none of, none of the believers, none of those innocent people get hurt. All these people are going to one side of the room. All the liars, all the frauds, and who they're running from. They're running from us. They're running from the truth. They're running from accountability. Well, guess what? You can run, baby, but you can't hide because Almighty God is moving. No, folks, be excited. This is a good thing. This is a good thing because Almighty God will restore the years that the canker worm has destroyed. Just saying.